But those involved in the pageant world say this is all really very misunderstood and it really just teaches kids poise and confidence. So joining us tonight are five-year-old beauty pageant vet, Talia Delise, who's been featured in Toddlers and TRs, as well as the winner, I guess, of California Tropics pageants. California Tropics pageants. Did you know that? Yes. And Marcy Delise, her mother who is a firm believer in the value of the pageants. And Marcy, I'm, I'll start with you. Okay. Um, when you, I, I understand that you think that it teaches poise, you think that it teaches stage presence, but when you see the video that we, <laughs> when you see the video that we just looked at, do you see poise or do you see sexploitation? Um, that video just looked like people kind of dressing up for Halloween costumes. Um, but Marcy, these are four-year-olds. They're five-year-olds. They don't understand what I they're, look, who they're looking like. Well, I personally wouldn't put my daughter in that. I think um, I put her in age-appropriate things. So, um, and for her to go on stage, she needs to know the character that she's portraying on the stage. So, would I put her in um, Julia Roberts' Pretty Woman? No. But you think it's okay? You think it's okay? for Kalia to see herself, as she's without a doubt doing, um, <laughs> as someone much, much older than a five-year-old. Someone more like a young adult. Um, you know what? She hasn't really, as you can tell, not acting like a young adult tonight. No, that's fine. <laughs> she's acting like a five-year-old. But on the stage, you know, it's just like with any other with dancers that go on stage. I mean, she's growing up in the entertainment world. Okay. Kalia? Hey. Hi. Hi. What do you like to do best? What Please. makes you happiest to do? I don't know. No, really. What do you like to? What, what? What? What makes you happiest? Do you like being on stage with all the makeup? Yes. Do you like it more than playing out on the playground with other girls and boys? Yes. Why? Look at me. Look at me. Why? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. It's okay, Marcy. We still have your microphone on you. I know. Yes. The, I know yes. the clip fell, but the mic's still there. You don't know, huh? Yeah, I don't when is, know. Hey, hey, Clea. Okay, please look at Mr. When is mommy, when is mommy really happy with you? What, what makes mommy happy? I don't know. Okay. Well, I get that. <laughs> mom, I mean, do you, mom, do you, do you understand what psychologists say? That many psychologists think that this is really more about you than it is about her. That, hmm. that, that really, it's, it's mom trying to get what she didn't become out through her daughter and hope that, that she does become something. You know, for us, no. I mean, I was an XFL cheerleader. I was a magician's assistant. You know, my husband has worked in the shows for many years. Mm -hmm. So for us, it just kind of goes with the territory. So Kailia, she likes to perform on the stage. And it's well, just, she sure does. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she likes to do talent. I mean, she likes to, <laughs> she likes to do it all. So, I mean, for those critics, they have children that are in the pageants, now do they? But they also say, and this is, and, and, and they also say that Kalia is learning to grow up with excessive attention. And when that attention finally goes away, she won't know what to do. That depression follows that. that. That there are a lot of disorders that can follow that because she gets so much attention now. She's always had attention. Yes, so, that's the issue, they say. Too um, much. I don't think there's ever too much attention that a child can have. Okay. So, I mean, she's had, you know, two older brothers that have been in it. Okay. And would you put her back, i got to go, but would you put her back on toddlers and tiaras if they asked you? In a very positive sense, yes. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Marcy and Clea. Did you have fun? Look like it. <laughs>